Well, look at that <laughs> pimp. Hey! Oh, gentlemen. Hi, doll. I love it. What's up? Mwah. I've known Omarion for like seven years. He's one of my really good friends, and he's just in town for a few days because he's recording in the studio out here. I have no luck dating any of these guys. Look at well, all my losers. Well, maybe you gotta switch it up. You know, maybe it's time to look in different places. Like libraries, <laughs> polo matches. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know the events that we go to. Y'all know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing but a whole bunch of promiscuous women and men. A real man wants you to feel comfortable, and he wants you to know that I can take care of you. Omari seriously is an amazing guy, and he is trying to convince me that there are other guys like him out here. I don't believe that. All men seriously suck. I wish a boyfriend or a guy Be was dating. Be careful what you wish for with this like one. <laughs> Be careful. Be very careful. You should totally come on my radio show. Yeah, how's that been going? A lot of people say I have like a phone sex voice, like a 1 900 voice. Hey, what would you say? Tell me, break it down. No, please don't do this. Wait a minute, come on. Me. Since the last time you left me, you had me dreaming of your. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, right? Amari's in town only for a little bit, so I'm gonna hang out with him as much as I can. I miss not having him with me all the time. Hey, what's up? Nothing. What'd you do today? It's hot as hell. I know. Blazing. So, um, I, um, like, I wanted to talk to you because, like, I don't want you to become this woman that feels like every man is the same. I think you should try something different, you know what I'm saying? I think you might want to try someone, you know what I'm saying, like me. I just dropped that. I just, yeah. I just dropped it. You want me to tell you why? Uh huh. Because we've been cool for like so long. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I think that a friendship is a prelude to a relationship. <laughs> what do you think about that idea? <laughs> Omari springs this whole relationship talk on me. Am I such a hopeless cause that one of my really good friends feels the need he has to date me? You're just with me. No, I'm dead serious. No, you're not. I know you're hot for me. I'm hot for you, too. <laughs> OK, so what if we you're right. go the next step and you're like, mm, she's not as mature as I thought. I don't want to ruin what think, we have. I know, but I think that you have that problem, like, a little bit. I think that you, I know I do, because, like, in your mind, you feel like all men are the same. This is so weird. I'm really uncomfortable. I have to get out of here. You're crazy. Did you know what Omari said to me? He tells me everything, kind of like how you do. You guys are both my best friends. So he told you after? Right did he tell you, like, details about what, what he did? What does it matter? What are you going to say? Uh, it's Omari. I'm going to ignore and act like it never happened. So you're not attracted to him in any way? Tell me the truth. It's not like Omari isn't dating material. We have amazing chemistry. But when we break up, then I'm going to lose him as my friend. All you're doing is projecting your past situations on him, and you know he's better than that. That tree didn't do Aww. anything to you. It's how you are with your men. Just rip them up. Do you get a kick out of trying to be my therapist? My brother Rob is in town for a couple of days. We're at dinner at Philippe, and Omarion has this sweet surprise for Chloe. I can't wait till she sees it. Did you know that Robert told me that he wanted to f Carrie, and he only does that if he wants to be with Carrie? False. That's true. That's completely yes, false. Yes, I told Robert that's I met that's her one true. time. Who is this? Hello? I'm at dinner, a cake comes, champagne comes, and a phone with Omari on it. It's almost like a birthday cake is being brought out and everyone's watching you, but it's not my birthday. Yeah, I'm just trying to let you know how serious I'm being. You know, I'm, I'm serious about this phone. Wait, hold on one second. Just hold on. Is this real? Yes. 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 He wrote earlier and he's been, he's been we've been setting it up something. all day. That was the most confusing Wait. thing I think that's ever happened to me in my life. Try the nicest thing. Something good, something what am I supposed to say? <laughs> All right, I'm done. Talk to you later. Now he's mad. You just ruined it. Look. Rob, don't make it worse. Don't make it worse. Don't make it worse. 
Omarion surprises Chloe with a cake and champagne, and instead of being sweet to him, she acts like she's totally put off. He sent me to voicemail? Now Omari isn't answering any of my calls. I was just confused. I just didn't know why he was doing any of this for me. He won't answer the phone. I've called him literally maybe 10 times from my phone. You just don't know how to deal with anything emotional. I'm not an emotional person, that's why. He needs to know you care. Chloe, you've got to call him. You've got to call him literally 500 times in a row. Great, now Kim is making me feel like I totally screwed up. I should have taken Omari more seriously. I just really did not know what was going on. I was so confused. I don't know what else to do. Please, what do I do? I'm so sorry. I'm making fried chicken in a G-string and a bra and high heels right now. You've got to show some appreciation. I'm so upset. I don't think anybody really understands how upset I am. Over. I understand. Men, well, I'm done. I gotta go. I'm meeting with Omari to fix this whole mess that I caused. He is going back to LA today, and I really have to make this better before he leaves. Hi. Uh, hi. What's up? <sighs> What's Are up, you still man? mad at me? Um, so am I. I do want to say I'm sorry for not taking you seriously, and I've thought about it, and I realized how serious you were, and. I think I was caught off guard, and you know, that's my defense mechanism. I just laugh things off and I act like everything's a joke, and that's just me. After I did the gesture that I did, you know, to kind of prove to you again, you know, that I was serious, and then you didn't take me serious again. Like, but that's like, what made me I after know, but that I was shut like, it down. Like, I that's... know, but that was two times, Chloe. Like, I think that you just have to be comfortable enough with yourself to let certain things happen. And, and, and be okay with getting your heart broke. Like, I've gotten my heart broken many times. You know what I'm saying? But like, so have I. I know. And but, I feel like but that I... should make you stronger. Seriously, though, when it comes to relationships, I am so guarded, it destroys me because I don't want to believe that anyone wants to be nice to me. It ruins me. I self destruct. Yeah. I really sat down and thought about how much you and I would make sense. I'm trying to put myself out there, I'm trying to show you, like, I am ready to start okay. a relationship. Yeah, but you, I don't know if you're ready, Chloe, seriously. I really need to learn to put my walls down. I was so worried about protecting myself. I'm ruining a great opportunity for me. Because I don't feel like you're ready, I'd rather just be like, all right, just leave it at that.